Hey cake friends, who doesn't love a good day at the beach? Well, I'm bringing the beach to you today here at Chili's Figs Cakes. Let's make this seriously awesome sandcastle cake, guys. I'm so excited. It's gonna be so much fun. All right, to start out making our bucket cake, we need to just get our cake filled and stacked. So we're gonna just quickly stack and fill our cake. As we are doing our crumb coat on our cake, I'm gonna do a little bit of, you know, just edging away some of the cake at the bottom. You can see I'm just kind of edging it away and you don't have to do this, but it kind of makes that bucket look, kind of makes it a little bit smaller on the bottom and on the top. So kind of makes that little bucket look. You guys don't have to do this step. It's just kind of fun. And so I'll show you guys how. All right, now we've stacked it. We're gonna put the chrome coat on and then we're gonna do our final coat of this fun neon green buttercream. Then also I'm putting a little bit of, you know, I'm gonna do that little tie-dye look again. So a little bit of turquoise, kind of bluish, and we're just gonna swipe that into the cake. I have a video about that. I'll link it here, it's my mermaid video. You guys can go see how I achieve that fun tie-dye technique. All right, while the cake is chilling in the freezer, we're gonna start on our little fondant shells. So as you can see, I have my just my little silicone mold. I've used it for mermaids, but I've never put fondant in the molds before. So today, all we do is just get a little bit of fondant and we're just gonna press it right into those molds. Pull it right out and there you have it super cute shells and it's so easy. So we're just gonna continue and make a few of these shells, guys. All right, now that our shells are made, we need to make a few little starfish. So I'm just gonna cut the starfish out. We're gonna roll out our fondant and I just have a starfish cookie cutter and we're just gonna cut out some fun starfish. All right, next we have to make this bucket look like a bucket because right now it just looks like a cake. So we have to get some more fondant and we're gonna make just how we hook on the handle right now. So all I did is just rolled out some fondant guys and I just have my little tip. One of my tips, it's just one of my little round tips and I'm just gonna push it into my fondant and it's just gonna make some circles for me. Sometimes that's the easiest way to make circles if you're ever in need of making circles and you're like, crap, I don't have a cookie cutter that small. Just use some of your frosting tips because it works so good. Okay, I'm just gonna cut out two different sizes of circles for our bucket. Then we have to make our bucket handle and how we're gonna do this, I just got my white fondant again and we're just gonna roll it out, guys. I'm just rolling it so it kind of looks like a snake. Roll it out till it looks like a snake and then kind of push it down just a little bit so it kind of flattens out so it looks like a handle. All right, let's see, what else do we have to make? Oh, we have to make the rest of our bucket. We have to have the, you know, top of our bucket has the little lip around the top. And we need that because we need this cake to look like a bucket. All right, so to achieve this, I'm gonna do two different ones because I like to have different options in case one of them breaks as we're gonna put it around the cake. This is the trickiest part of making this bucket cake. So I've got two things of fondant and we're just gonna roll them out, you guys, just like we did to make our handle. We're gonna roll them out, just rolling them out so they're like kind of thicker snakes. Two of them, I'm gonna cut it in half to make two and we're just gonna roll them out, guys. Okay, now that we've rolled them, I feel like they're pretty good length. Now I'm gonna get my rolling pin and we're just gonna roll that across it, you guys. Do you see how I'm just rolling it across and it kind of flattens it out and makes it even. So that can be the top of our bucket. Okay, like I said, this can be the trickiest part of our bucket cake. So just be careful, let the fondant sit for a minute and put your cake in the freezer so it's nice and cool and ready to handle 
this fondant. All right, so we're just gonna pick it up really carefully, you guys. If one breaks, it's okay, you have another one. If both of them break, just do the same thing again and you guys will get it. It's just a little tricky, just be careful when you pick it up and make sure it's not super thin or else it will just break. So you need to have it, I mean, and not super thick, but thick enough that you can pick it up without it just falling. All right, now we're gonna pick it up, guys, and we're just gonna put it right here on the top of our cake. Just go nice and slow. Make sure there's a little lip on top so that you guys can see that little edge. So keep going, put it on the top, and look at that. It kind of looks like a bucket, guys. <laughs> it's so much fun. All right, now we're gonna add the handle. So we're gonna put, I just kind of measured, I put the handle up, I held it up too, and I kind of put little dots on the sides of my buttercream so that I know kind of where to put the handle ends. So now we're just going to put the two little dots where I measured. We're gonna put them right here, our little circles, stick them on. Then we're gonna get our handle and we're gonna put them right here on to our cake. It's looking so cute. And then our last little circle, just stick them right on top of our handle. We're just going to stick those right there. Look guys, we made a bucket. So much fun. It's so cute. All right, let's finish this bucket off. All right, to finish off this fun bucket cake, we have to have sand. The easiest way to get sand for our bucket is you can use brown sugar, but I'm not sure if I want to put brown sugar all over the top of the cake, but you can, if it's your only option, do it. I, however, just pulverized some graham crackers and it makes sand and it makes good sand. It looks so good. Now we're just going to fill in the top of this cake with all of this pulverized graham cracker sand, guys. So just put as much or as less as you want. I kind of want to make a little pile of sand because it's a bucket. We want to pile up that sand. So I'm just going to pile it, spread it around there as much as I want. Add the starfish if you guys want. We're gonna put those right on top. And then I'm going to put like my sprinkles. It's the same way as I put sprinkles around the bottom. We're gonna put some sand around the bottom because sand buckets are always just really sandy, right? They're always messy. It's okay if it's messy because that's what we're going for. So I'm just gonna put it around. I'm just gonna push this up to the side and put our pulverized graham crackers around the side of our cake. Now I'm gonna add a few shells and voila, we did it guys. We made the cutest, cutest sand bucket cake. I love it, it's so much fun and I hope you guys love it too. I hope you guys had fun watching this super cute bucket come together. I had such a good time making it and I hope you guys had fun watching. Go in your kitchens and try this and it's perfect cake for summer. So much fun guys. Remember, here at Chili's Bakes Cakes, I'm all about trying new things and I love a challenge. This cake is kind of a challenge but it was also super fun. The end result is just fun. So happy. My kids are loving it. <laughs> I hope you guys have an awesome day and thanks so much for watching here at Chili's Bakes Cakes and make sure and subscribe to my channel, guys.